Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Borg Warner. Feel good about driving. Bridgestone, your journey, our passion. And by Dow Automotive Systems, improving durability and increasing design flexibility with Betamate structural adhesives at DowBetamate.com. Welcome to AutoLine Daily, where we're coming to you from the floor of Kobo Center in Detroit, home of the North American International Auto Show. This has gotten off to a big start this morning because they've announced the winners for the North American Car and Truck of the Year Award, and amazingly, it's a clean sweep for Chevrolet. We've got the re uh, results here. Car of the Year went to the Chevrolet Corvette Stingray, which got 211 votes, followed in second place, amazingly, by the Mazda 3 with 185 votes, and pulling up third was the Cadillac CTS with 94 votes. Over on the truck side, as I mentioned, clean sweep for Chevrolet. The Chevrolet Silverado got Truck of the Year with 219 votes, followed in second place by the Jeep Cherokee with 174 votes, and then the Acura MDX with 97. But there's a lot of news going on here today with a production introduction of the Ford F-150. As you all know, very aluminum intensive. I got some of the important statistics about it here. They've taken 750 pounds or 340 kilograms out of certain versions of the truck. It's a very aluminum intensive bed and frame. And in fact, they alone account for 460 pounds of that weight reduction or about 204 kilograms. Even though the body and cab, though, are aluminum, it's still a steel frame, and they've gone with steel rolled frame. Very interesting manufacturing technique. We'll get into that at a future date. But Ford has also got a lot of aerodynamic things going on on this truck as well. Active grill shutters, which is becoming very common, but active wheel shutters, where they start really reducing the drag around the wheels. They also have a deployable air dam on this truck. Just those aerodynamic improvements alone helped boost highway fuel economy by two miles per gallon. Ford's goal, and maybe we'll get the announcement here at the show, they want 30 miles per gallon highway with this truck. Big risk and reward here for Ford. Going with all that aluminum changes all your stamping, changes all your welding. So there's going to be, or could be, manufacturing issues. And yet, if this really works and Ford hits that 30 mile per gallon number, wow, they're five years ahead of the competition. Talking of trucks, GMC just unveiled the Canyon. It's got a 2.5 liter engine standard. That's an inline four gasoline with 193 horsepower. That's also available with a six speed manual. There's a 3.6 liter V6 with 302 horsepower for this truck. Coming up at a future date will be a 2.8 liter turbo diesel that'll be coming in 2016. It has an aluminum hood. It has active grill shutters. It's also got that step built into the rear bumper, just like the Silverado has. Meanwhile, Mercedes last night unveiled the new C-Class. Dieter Zetcha, the CEO of the company, was in town. We've learned a few things about it. It's going to be built in Alabama. It's 220 pounds lighter than the C-Class it replaces. And they've actually designed this thing to look like a baby S-Class. They definitely want to move this car more upscale. Volkswagen, meanwhile, announced that it's not backing off its goal of having one million sales in the U.S. market, and that's going to put a lot of pressure on Volkswagen of America because they didn't have a good year last year. But Volkswagen confirms it is bringing in a midsize SUV to the United States. In fact, they're going to invest $7 billion in the NAFTA region over the next five years. So they're still very serious about this goal of selling a million units, but as I said, the pressure is on. Coming up just after this break, I'll be talking about who we're going to have on our live webcast show later this afternoon. Dow Automotive Systems, driving solutions in automotive, commercial transportation, and aftermarket with innovative products like Betamate structural adhesives. Lighter, stronger, safer. DowBetamate.com. Starting at 1 p.m. Eastern Time today, we'll launch our live webcast from the floor of the 2014 North American International Auto Show in Detroit, and that's brought to you by our signature sponsor, Chrysler. And boy, do we have a great show lined up for you. Not only will we be checking out some of the hottest unveils, but just listen to the guests that we have. 
Al Gardner, the president and CEO of the Chrysler brand. Dr. Michael Kramer, vice president of the product group for midsize cars for Mercedes-Benz. Tim Mahoney, the head of Global Chevrolet. Michael Horn, the president and CEO, and I should say the new president and CEO of the Volkswagen Group of America. Ludwig Willisch, the president of BMW North America, and Philip Brabeck, the product planning manager for Audi of America. Now, if you got any questions or comments for those people, you can submit them via Twitter by using the hashtag NAIAS Live. But that wraps up today's show. Thank you for tuning in.